This is honestly like the easiest thing that you can do. Prayer is literally so simple. Pe people want to do the, dear God, Father of the seven seas. It's, it's not that complicated. It, it can simply be something like, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking me up. Bless me today. Guide me. In your name, Jesus. Amen. It could simply be just that. But I want to go into something a little bit more practical that can actually help guide you as you're trying to pray. And so here we go. Number one, the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer, most people know it, but if you don't know it, uh, go on Google and, and it goes something like, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will. See, you, you, it's probably coming to you. You probably get it. And so you can do that, but here's a twist to it, though. You can say something like, Our Father, my God, my provider, the, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, hallowed be your name. I praise you. I lift you up. I thank you. Your kingdom come. Holy Spirit, God, just we invite you in right now. We invite your spirit. We invite your will to be done. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, on earth as it is in heaven, in my life as it is in heaven, in my relationships as it is in heaven. You see what I'm doing? So it's simply as easy as just you go through that prayer and then you just invite God in and make it personal. And so number two, pray the fruit of the spirit over your life. If you don't know what the fruit of the spirit is, if you didn't grow up in a, a, a Christian church, um, they have a song called, and the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience. So, so simply the fruit of the spirit is is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's the fruit of the Spirit. And so simply, what I think is effective and practical is just saying, God, give me love today. Give me joy today. Give me peace. Give me patience. Give me kindness. Help my heart to be gentle. And, you know, you can go through that process. And um, I find it really effective. It, it gives me so much peace and just relaxation. I mean, e even as I'm going through this right now, it just feels good. And then I'll say number three, use prayer as a weapon. Like if you feel under attack, if you feel like why is so much crap happening to me? If you feel like there's stuff going on in your home or if there's stuff going on up here or if there's stuff going on right here, use prayer as a weapon. Like you can use phrases like Lord, cover me. Lord, protect me. Lord, guide me. Lord, be with me. And you can even go deeper and say, Lord, anoint my words to fight back. And, and you can fight back and you can say things like fear. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Depression, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Anything that is not welcome here, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I mean, like, that's how you fight, bro. Like, because the Bible says that, it, that it's not a fight of flesh and blood, but it's of peace and principalities. And so it, it's a complete spiritual battle. And so you can fight by simply inviting God into the space with prayer. And so listen, these are the tools that I believe can really help you as you start developing your relationship with God. And also this page is dedicated to helping new believers grow in their faith. And if that's something that interests you, please like, comment, subscribe, please subscribe. It helps a lot. It helps grow the channel a lot. And also if you're a more seasoned believer, like where you've had a relationship with God for a long time. Um, share this with somebody that you know is new to the faith. And let's continue to spread the message of God. You guys have an incredible day, and I'll see you in the next video.